Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. It's Monday morning, which means another Staking Coins and Masternodes update video, number 39 in the series now. Now this will be obviously the last update video for this year, but it will also be the last update video in this particular format. Uh, I've got some uh, changes planned basically for the new year. I'll talk you through those a little bit later in the video. But uh, firstly, let's go over the housekeeping, then we'll go through the uh, weekly return. So uh, housekeeping wise, just one real change to make you aware of Helix coin at the bottom. If you have Helix, if you're staking it, or indeed if you're running a masternode, you need to update your wallet. Um, so a new wallet was released, I believe it was yesterday or the day before. So um, the local wallet, very simple, just replace the QT wallet if you're on Windows. Uh, if you have a masternode, the remote wallet also needs to be upgraded. Um, but if you go to the Discord group, all the instructions are there. It's just a handful of commands that you need to run on your VPS. Everything um, went quite smoothly. I did that yesterday and upgraded. So I think you'll have a little bit of time till it becomes enforced. But uh, with all these sort of new wallet releases and stuff like that, always good to upgrade as soon as possible so you don't forget about it and get booted from the network. Anyway, let's jump straight in and have a look at the uh, rewards for this last week. So starting at the top of the list, as always, with Navcoin, 2.95 coins worth 51 cents. Uh, Syndicate, 110.7 coins worth $3.17. Neutron 36.94 coins worth 34 cents. Neo gas uh, 0.4294094 gas worth 97 cents. Uh, Bean cash really nice to see Bean cash staking again. So we'd had quite a few weeks, I think three or four weeks with no uh, staking uh, with no stakes basically on the local wallet, but we received two in this last week. So each one a thousand coins as always. So two thousand odd uh, bean cash worth two dollars twenty eight. Uh, smart cash three hundred three point three six worth five dollars nineteen. Now, uh, smart cash obviously is a mixture of the monthly smart rewards which came in this week and also the smart node payouts. Um, I also received about a hundred coins on the thirtieth of a December um, and we're not quite sure uh, what that was so I think the smart reward uh, payout came in on the 24th this month um, but then I received a uh, hundred I think it was a hundred and one uh, smart cash on the 30th I'm not quite sure uh, what it's from I'm not sure if it was uh, just a delayed um, smart rewards pay payout it were, wasn't uh, smart node payouts but I'm not quite sure uh, where that came from it wasn't anything that I'd sent over so um, uh, I don't know exactly what it was from, but I included it in the figures anyway. So 303 coins, $5.19. Uh, Linda, 2,058 coins worth $1.03. A Chroma, 54.15 coins worth 78 cents. Uh, had a pretty poor week, a Chroma. The price is going down. There's um, some news on the Masternode side, which I'll cover a little bit later in the video. Uh, Pivx, 0.4 of a Pivx worth 32 cents. Uh, Shard, 4.69 Shard worth 14 cents. And finally, Helix, 300 Helix exactly worth 87 cents. So that's a grand total this week of $15.60. So that's up a little bit on the last uh, few weeks. We were down under $10 for a couple of weeks. So nice to see um, the figures, you know, back above the $10 mark. We're still under the sort of 20 odd. Dollars, twenty twenty-five dollars, where we seem to be for many, many months. But um, with the real sort of um, depression in kind of prices, I think to be up over fifteen dollars is pretty, pretty good at the moment. Um, obviously, that was largely due to these kind of smart cash uh, pay outs of this last week. Uh, Syndicate, another decent week for Syndicate uh, as well. And if we jump over to the return on investment, so we can just sum this up. Um, Basically, exactly where we were uh, last uh, week, we were down 82 point something percent and similarly uh, down at the moment. The price overall is very similar to last week. A couple of coins are up. I think Neo was up a little bit. I think Nav was down a little tiny bit. Um, but basically, the value was exactly where it was uh, the previous week. So we were 5.7 and the previous week we were... Five seven something as well, so within a you know handful of dollars either way. So overall, you know, massive kind of like losses across the board. Return on investment down eighty two percent across all these coins. Now, um, going forward, I will be changing the format of this. I don't think necessarily it's particularly reflective. Some of these coins um, I acquired, so Navcoin I acquired back in two thousand and seventeen. I think I acquired them before that, but I actually only started staking 
in November. Um, Syndicate and Neutron, obviously, I bought those right at the kind of high of the kind of markets and then to a lesser degree kind of neo being cash smart cash going forward so um there is an inherent kind of bias within these kind of kind of figures um i think you know any coin that i bought near the top and i know the people who are fans of neutron were quite unhappy because you know neutrons had an appalling year it's been by far the worst performer down 96.5 percent even though i've acquired like a load more coins very recently at the real lows but because these coins were basically kind of acquired at the kind of high you know they've dropped a lot more now with syndicate when it had the uh, sort of the blockchain kind of attack earlier this year and they were uh, propagating blocks incredibly quickly we made quite a lot of syndicate and then I actually kind of sold a load of those and I didn't sell with kind of neutron which you know makes it look kind of even worse than it would be but you know across the board this year it's been you know an, an appalling year for crypto in general and there is no um escaping the fact that even with staking coins or mass node returns you know even if we look here at the first graph at the percentage return you know if something drops 80 90 percent it doesn't matter if you're getting you know a three percent return which you might be getting from uh neo over the year probably nav is around the sort of five percent odd or whether you're getting sort of 50 odd for syndicate or even more for some of these kind of coins when a coin price you know is depressed by 90 percent, it doesn't matter really how much these kind of go up um it's going to be a pretty awful year now the one thing um i think is quite good for uh, staking coins and mass nodes is that you are accumulating more coins now having a look uh through sort of coin market cap at some Coins around the same kind of like sort of level. So I basically spent a bit of time yesterday and I went through some of these kind of coins, looked at where they were, looked at some coins around about the same kind of positions as they were. And they were all down sort of similar amounts in terms of uh, losses from the kind of all time high. So the one advantage of a staking coin and mass nodes is that they haven't, um, looking just very briefly at the kind of market, they haven't lost any more uh, value than coins which don't stake so the whole inflationary thing doesn't seem to kind of um, have taken as much of an effect maybe as I would expect I think in a flat market or in a kind of bull market you know coins which are incredibly inflationary you know will obviously see uh, a suppression of kind of prices but um, looking at stuff like kind of syndicate and smart cash and Linda and you know kind of Pivx it's had a pretty decent year Pivx um, but Compared to the coins around them in those kind of rankings, um, they hadn't lost any kind of more uh, than their equivalent kind of coins, which were kind of proof of work or whatever, and weren't receiving stake rewards. So I think that's quite positive. And obviously, you know, we have accumulated a number of extra coins. So, you know, theoretically, when the next bull run starts, we should be in a better position because we'll have far more coins than, you know, maybe just another small cap coin that doesn't give you any rewards. So... <clears throat> I suppose that's the the only real kind of positive I can take out of it. Uh, Pivx, as I said, I only started staking Pivx in July this year on a staking pool, but I actually acquired these back in 2017. I think it was sort of uh, summer in the autumn, maybe something like that. Uh, Pivx been pretty good, only down 35%, which I think is quite a solid performance. Um, Helix, very, very recent coin, so... Um, this return on investment is, has been up and down kind of crazily. It's only on a couple of very small exchanges. And, you know, it's such a small cap coin that, you know, the return on investment, but also the, um, the the current worth and stuff like that can vary massively on a weekly basis. But overall, uh, big, big losses. Let's have a look at the, the graph. So we can see here the stake rewards up um, best for five weeks now. So ever since... We dropped from sort of Bitcoin around the $6,000 mark down to $4,000. we have been having these very, very poor weeks. And, you know, a slightly more positive uh, staking reward and Masnode reward week to finish the year off, which is quite nice to see. But if we look at the total worth, you can see that we're down on these very, very couple of uh, appalling weeks. We're still not that much above the sort of 5000 odd uh, mark so uh, yeah not a fantastic kind of a uh, performance overall have we seen the bottom of the market until I think you know really the market turns around um, so you can amass those the returns you get from the kind of coins are really quite insignificant compared to uh, just the, the changing kind of coin prices now going forward into the new year I am going to be splitting up uh, my staking and masternode coins basically so I will be doing a weekly uh, masternode shootout video so I will have uh, half a dozen masternodes I intend to start and finish the year with the same masternodes now there might be a little bit of flexibility maybe at the six month uh, mark I might add in some new kind of coins and um, the other thing is 
obviously one of my mask nodes is a chroma and if you've been following news with a chroma um, there's been some talk that the master node returns will be removed from a chroma now uh, a chroma has three different types of master nodes so it has four master nodes which we're running but there are also these remote and boot master nodes that do various different things on the network now um, i haven't really gone into it in a lot of detail but it sounds that maybe the remote and boot master nodes won't be getting rewards i don't know if that's also true of the full master nodes as well but it may well be that uh, the acroma gets uh, dropped from the experiment but basically i'm going to be starting um, at the beginning of the year i will have a price for each of these master nodes as of the 1st of January and then I'll be doing a weekly update um, to have a look at not just what we've received from masternode returns but also how the coin price uh, affects that so we'll be looking at an overall uh, picture for that and then the staking coins will be more in this kind of format and I will be adding a lot more staking coins I think throughout the year so whereas the masternodes will be basically I'll be choosing half a dozen at the beginning of the year and then we'll be running with those. With the staking coins, I will be adding more coins in, you know, throughout the year in order to try and meet uh, my objectives, which I'll talk about um, in a goals video in the next kind of week or so. So um, a bit of a change to this uh, format. Hopefully it will be a little bit more straightforward, a little bit easier to look at. And um, yeah, hopefully that will be useful for everybody going forward. But uh, this is the last video for this year. So a uh, very happy new year for later today. Thanks very much as always for watching. Um, I really appreciate everybody who watches my videos, who's sent me a comment or sent me a message or anything like that. You know, I really appreciate it. It's what keeps me uh, making more videos. You know, there'd be no point doing it if nobody kind of watch any of them. But um, yeah, keep your comments coming. Um, hopefully you will stick with me into the new year. Hopefully 2019 will be a far more positive year price-wise for crypto than 2018. But have a fantastic uh, new year celebrations, whatever you're doing, and I will see you in the new year. Take care. Bye-bye.